How's it going, 3D printers? Andrew Sink from 3D Central here, and did you know you can print multicolored parts on a 3D printer that only has one extruder? It's true, it's how I made my name tag. This is actually three colors, but it was made on a printer that only prints one color at a time. That's also how we made these signs. These are what hang in front of our store, and as you can see, they're both two colors, but they were printed on a machine that only prints one color at a time. You wanna find out how? Let's do it. Welcome back. So I want to show you a couple of examples of things that you can print out using this multicolor process on a single extruder printer. So here are some things that we've printed out. This is a Mario Pixel Star that has its eyes a different color than the rest of its body and this is made by pausing the printer and then printing out the eyes using a different color. We've also printed out this tri-spinner and this is three separate colors and this is the hypno spinner because it creates a hypnotic sort of pattern when you spin it but we printed this using three separate colors. And this was made on a printer that only has a single extruder. It can also be used to print things with more than two colors too, like this. You might recognize this. And then we actually made this as a magnet, and if you go back and watch all of our videos going back to, I think, August, you'll see it hanging right back here. If you want to see this in action, I actually made a video of this. This is the close sign that you saw in the beginning of the video, and I actually made a time lapse of this being created, so you can actually see how this works. All right, you ready? Time lapse time. This closed sign was designed in Tinkercad, and as you can see, the letters are slightly raised from the base. This allows us to assign definite values to both letters and the base, so we know exactly when to pause and swap colors. This process isn't just limited to text. You can also use it to design parts like this. This is the communicator badge from Star Trek The Next Generation. You can see here that it was made using that same technique of pause and swap colors, but it's a 3D object. We also made the pips using the same technique. All right, that's our video on how to make multicolor 3D printed parts on a 3D printer that only has one extruder. If you like this video, click that like button and subscribe to this channel for more 3D printed videos like this. We love making YouTube videos, and we're gonna be making more of them. Our channel has a bunch. See if you can go back in our channel and spot all the videos that have multicolored 3D printed parts. There's the hat, there's this is a little cameo in almost all of them, same with the name tag, and there's a bunch more. It's something that we've incorporated into our workflow, and hopefully it's something you'll incorporate into yours. So if this is something you start to use, I wanna see pictures of it, so leave me a comment in the comment section and tell me what sort of 3D printed part have you made before using this technique. Big shout out to all the 3D printers who have been posting pictures of their multicolored 3D printed parts on Twitter. Wow, that's a tongue twister. But big shout out to Vicky over at TGAW and Tessa at Sparky Face 5 Lauren at Abuzz Designs. I'm going to include links to all these people and they're going to be in the description of this video. Uh, go check them all out. They all have really cool stuff. And big shout out to Joel with 3D Printing Nerd for recently doing a video featuring Lauren of Abuzz Designs. It's really cool and it shows how you can design parts with dual extrusion technology. It's a cool video and if you have a printer with two extruders, it's going to be really helpful for you. That's it. Thank you so much for watching and as always, have fun printing.